Looking against turn, I get the feeling I'm going to see a bit more of Brett Delidio in the middle for the Tigers under Jade Rawlings. We're underway, and it's Cox, as you would expect, getting the first tap. Jackson dispossessed straight away, and Kerr on top of it. That's going to be one tangle we'll watch closely during the night. Who are you going for, Walsey? Uh, Hutto, I reckon it's line ball. I, I really think the West Coast Eagles are a chance. They should be against this uh, young and experienced Richmond team. But I think the emotion might get the Tigers over the line. It'll be a close one. It's a very tough one to call. Uh, so we've got a free kick going. The way of Cochin, who has to handball. Newman up from behind. Vickery might come into the action here. No, he calls Delidio in. And Delidio takes the mark. Selwood. Expected to be his opponent tonight, and it looks as if John Walsfold hasn't disappointed. Now, Morton's marked. He doesn't play on. Well, there's the first shock of the night. Morton marks inside, well, inside the 50 and doesn't play on. There wasn't a lot to go. Oh, boy. Oh, gee, I'll tell you what, that was lucky. That was went, magnificent, was it? It went under the arms of the man on the mark, Stengline. No one expected it. Oh, have a shot. Gee, all I want to do is chip it round. You can't <laughs> fight. Well, obviously, been told to share the footy. Yeah, well, it's a secret tactic number one for yeah, Jay When you're 25 out, Rob, you've got to have a shot, don't you? Oh, well, I would think so. But uh, anyway, yeah. let's not knock them quarters. I reckon no. they might get a goal on the board, and, and they've had half a dozen players have a touch. Always feels good to have a touch early. He's played seven games this year, Angus Graham. Back to Coburg for a week after his hamstring injury, just to make sure he was... Ripe and ready, and looks like he is. So and first blood to the Tigers, Rob. Watch the Morton kick. It goes underneath the arms of Stengline, the man on the mark. He didn't expect it. I don't think Tambling expected it either. He was lucky he turned around. The ball was on his chest. On. Cox couldn't get boot to ball. Heavy tackle late on Ebert. Good stuff early from the Tigers. And again, they share the footy around. Foley to the much improved Jackson. Back to Foley. Good kick to the outer wing. And there's Cochin again. Gets it moving quickly to Moore. To Revolt in the pocket. And he takes the mark in front of glass. So nice ball movement from the Tigers. Confident start. There's a little lead from Vickery, which is ignored. And Darren Glass is Revolt's opponent. And we see Tamling in action there. He spent the last few weeks playing on the half back line for Richmond while well, he's playing up forward at the moment. Revolt. Just the point. I guess they need some firepower up forward, Rob, don't they? You know, no Richo, as, it, as the case has been for a long time, and some of their other young key forwards haven't really come on. No, you're right, Tato, and uh, that's why I think they've decided to run with uh, Mitch Morton and Rewalt for the rest of the year. I hope so. Look, they're, they're, they're the future. The other thing, I guess, in terms of Tambling playing forward, if Delidio is going to be in the middle, he's another one that uh, Terry Wallace has used up for. There's a pretty ordinary kick coming out from Nikoski, and Dean Polo takes the mark. There's Mitch Morton pushing back to the goal square, but the kick's going shorter to Tambling, who is buzzing around. Gee, at the moment, their uh, foot passing's been quite good. Sets it up. Morton comes. Oh. Look at that. Well, he hit the player he intended to hit, which was Morton leading out from the goal square. I think the West Coast Eagles player coming from the right. It was Ebert, was it? Did not work hard enough to help out Ebert. Ebert just uh, a token effort to get back there and certainly didn't give his uh, defender, Spanger, much support at all. Four minute mark of the first quarter tonight. Oh, course. no wonder those Eagles supporters on the ground were unhappy when we did the opener. Well, you mean they don't like Rob? No, it's surprising. That, that is a shock. Let's watch Miss Morton. And he's watching it sail through. What a start for the Tigers and Jade Rawlings. Dream start for Richmond. Our West Coast, Rob, just have to get their hands on the football. They, they, they do. One disposal, Walsey, and it was a turnover. Yeah, Cousins starting on the wing. You can see him there. And uh, young Scott Selwood has the job of running with him. Good contest. Play on. Cox the tap. Beautifully oh. done to Prittis. Here we go for the Eagles. Deep inside their 50. Contested situation. Fisted away. Lacroix gives chase, but there's Cousins. It's the handball to Jackson, to Rance, back to Cousins. Good teamwork from the Tigers early in this game. Cousins to Revolt, another beautiful kick. Revolt will want to get it moving quickly. That's not the best of kicks. 
towards Vickery. Hearn can't control it. Nahas there. Pinch the footy from the arms of Selwood. Setters it into the pocket. Morton gives chase. Spanger court. Tambling's in there. Hot on his heels is Stengline. Selwood's wrapped up by Foley and will have a bounce in Richmond's forward pocket. Stand up. Very spirited start by the Tigers. They've dominated. Disposal's now 24 to 3. Gee, look at them. Take your partners there. Richmond free, free kick to the Tigers. Boy, look at this amazing number of players around the stoppages. He's entitled to run for the footy and he was stopped from doing it. Got to wonder how he picked that out because there was a I thought Cox was being well, held. Well, there was a lot of players being held, but I'm not saying it wasn't there. Yeah, Nikoski playing on Nahas. I like this young fella. He's got uh, plenty of life about him. Goal sneak. First year of AFL. Ten goals in eight games. Fourth highest for the Tigers, in fact. Needed to do better than that. Kick not even making it. Glass. Hasn't had a kick in the last two weeks, Darren Glass. He's had 15 handballs, and he's continued with that handball mantra. Look, the Eagles are going with that mantra as well. About eight handballs through the middle of the ground. Scott Selwood changes it up with a shock tactic of a kick. Inside 50, McGuang's got the job on the very dangerous... Yeah. Lacra is too tight. Was it two There's, Tigers or a Tiger and an Eagle? Yeah, a Tiger, tiger and an Eagle, Eagle down Thirstfield. And Mitch Brown on the on the mat behind the action. Oh, clash, clash of heads, heads I yeah, think. Nasty. And uh, Lacra, no left foot, decided to go on the outside of the right. Down to McGuan, and he escorts it over the line and out of bounds. Very nasty. I'm just glad it wasn't Rance. No disrespect to Will Thirstfield. Mm. So play continues into the pocket for West Coast, but clearing of the Tigers through Foley. And again, another good disposal. Hits tuck on the chest as uh, Thursfield, very groggy. Will Thursfield comes off the ground. Another throw in. Let's have another look at this incident. Gee, we saw a bad head clash last night, and that's just an accident. Both boys going hard for the footy. You hate to see it. We saw Chris Judd get a broken nose last night. That was friendly fire. Now, Jackson's been penalised for an off-the-ball ball hold on Kerr. Yeah, well, Jackson's been their best tagger all year. He'll have the job on uh, Daniel Kerr. Kerr loads up to the tip of the goal square. The pack fly, fisted away. Selwood back to Stengline. Kicks towards Weir Pundu, got a bit of couple. Tambling did well in front and got the mark. Good stuff from Richard Tambling. And he's got some run. Nahas spreading very wide. And a man just off the bench, Tommy Hislop, was an option for him further afield. But Nahas is going to go solo. Now he involves Ben Cousins. Tough kick for Moore to handle. And he wasn't able to cleanly. Brown dispossessed. Polo arching the back as Cousins heading forward. You wouldn't mind buying it. Mind being on the back of the Cousins kick generally. Yeah, good but courage. Nice out muscling Vickery taking the mark. Oh, there's his first kick in three weeks. And uh, well finds its target. And Nick Natanui comes onto the ground course. Richmond get the footy back though. Tambling's having a very good start to this match. A little give and go from 55 into the pocket. Beautiful delivery from Tambling. And Mitch Morton must be loving Richard Tambling at the moment. Well, Richard Tambling, six disposals. Yeah, We're now. nine minutes in to this first Thank you. quarter. Thank you. And he improves the angle as he likes to do. And the Tigers get their third. Now just watch left of screen here, top left of screen, Kerr and Jackson. This is what the free kick was for. Yep, and they've had a bit of a ping at him, and that happens a lot. I think West Coast are sick to death of opposition players trying to knock Daniel Kerr off his game. There's Foley, started very sprightly. Wandering kick, here's an opportunity for Vickery after Patterson got the clearance. Revolt, they're certainly trying to share it around the Tigers at every opportunity. Nahas with the guiding kick, plenty of loop on it, but it still got to Tambling before Hearn could come in and do any damage. Play on, play on, play on, you in a go! And he adapted beautifully, not, pa not paid, and Hislop just couldn't quite get the angles right. Jeez. I've seen uh, shorter kicks paid marks this year. That was right on the edge. Gee, they've obviously started well, Richmond, but uh, they could have had five goals on the board.
Let's get some news on Will Thirstfield downstairs with you, Howie. Been chatting with the doctors. Looks OK, Hutto. I think he'll come back on. And as soon as Daniel Kerr came off, Jackson came off right beside him. So he's definitely got the job tonight. 46 to 18 is the disposal count in favour of Richmond. But here's an opportunity for West Coast. Rosa goes for a run. Drills it long. That Nui. Oh, it's a free kick. And it's a hole in this game. Richmond's way. <laughs> it could have been a very exciting start to that young man's career. But not to be. He dropped the mark anyway. It was a free kick and the last line of defence going to McGuan. And his kick's good. Finds Shane Edwards. He goes short to Nahas. He's also been very busy early in this match. He has and been covering plenty of territory as well, getting deep into defence. So all hands on deck for the Tigers. Here's Vickery over the top of Spagger. That was almost slow motion stuff. Well, Vickery came up to take the mark and Dean Cox sat back. He was lazy, Dean Cox. If Dean Cox doesn't uh, dominate the hitouts tonight, something's wrong because he's up against a couple of very inexperienced young Richmond Ruckman. Well, Dean Cox has copped a little bit of criticism, but the stats would suggest he's had a better year than uh, pretty much ever before, and that includes contested possessions and the amount of possessions he's taken uh, in the midfield. Uh, it's been some of the criticism of getting easy possessions back, but the stats wouldn't agree with that. But as you said, Wolsey, you'd expect him to dominate tonight, Dean Cox. Hearn working it all the way back to the last line. And this is McKenzie taking it out wide. Stend line along the line, and that's OK. And uh, coming up with the ball for his young Swift for the Eagles, who we saw make his debut here a couple of weeks ago against Carlton. But the Tigers, uh, half back line at the moment, pretty hard to get past. Collins in and out. Tuck. Good movement of the footy. Newman. Oh, Cousins might have been off a bit more than he could shoot. Just got the handball away, though. So they haven't given up yet. Cousins came again against the man that fed him for so many years. The Eagles are able, though, to gather. This is Herm with a pumping, aggressive handball to Rosa, who's quite prolific at sending the ball inside 50. And speaking of prolific, Prittis, who's enjoying his best year disposal-wise, forced to retreat. Mikoski can kick it a long way, but not allowed to. Marston always going out for the uh, back option there, the Eagles. Uh, right in retreat mode, weren't they, all the way. Important touch from Rosa, Lacroix. And uh, that's, well, maybe a little bit of fortune, but Kennedy playing in front takes the mark. He's an impressive type, Rob. Yeah, Josh Kennedy started his... He is a boy from Western Australia, started his career with Carlton, part of the uh, Chris Judd deal. I like the way he goes about it. Really works hard for front position. He presents. Uh, he's still got some growing to go. You can already see he's a pretty good size, but uh, I think he'll be a very good player for West Coast as a centre-half forward. First in fact, I think he'll take Ashley Hansen's spot. Well, he's got it at the moment, hasn't he? First mark inside 50 for the Eagles. Eight already to Richmond. Kennedy must and does convert for the Eagles' first goal and score. Here's the replay of the first opportunity for Nick Natanui. Uh, There's a free kick, though, off the ball, and the Richmond fans, didn't they love it? And Natanui now gone into the ruck, and he goes up high but mistimed the leap, and the Tigers get the clearance to half forward. There's Vickery, tackled by Glass. Locked in straight away, straight up. Thanks, Ty. Thanks, Darren. Thanks, boys. And it's interesting with Cox well, not rucking. I thought Cox might have gone to the goal square, but they've taken Cox off the field. So another hit. free kick Straight spotted off the ball. Back. This one's going to Collins. The Tigers winning the clearances 6-1. Here's Tambling again. He's been most prolific. His ninth disposal. And uh, goes again for his tenth. Setting it up. Hoping for a grab. They're three or four flyers. But uh, good ball, good ball. it was all West Coast. Uh, it was Lecrae getting back to lend a hand in defence initially. Now some... Heavy work behind the play. Daniel, Kerr, Kerr, Daniel Kerr's been put down behind play, so it's a free kick upfield to West Coast. This will be one to watch because uh, Richmond will test Kerr because they know he's volatile. He gets reported so often, and they'll try to suck him in by uh, making life hard for him. Tom, Tommy, hit, yeah, yep. Tommy Hislop is renowned as a bit of a hard nut and a bit of a troublemaker out there. So that's, that's, that's it there. Good to see Nat and Nui have a bit of a bump on Daniel Jackson. 
Who's yeah. doing the tagging job on Kirk. Beautiful ruck work. Unfortunately, went straight to Ben Cousins and the Tigers away. And he kicks back into the middle of the ground, and that's a terrific mark taken by Delidio amidst a lot of pressure from Spanger. Delidio gets rid of it quickly. Foley can go all the way here. Has a bounce. Runs to 50 and misses what in the end he should have got. It's always easy up here, though. Nicely worked, though, by the Tigers, nonetheless. There's Jackson on Kerr. He's not only a tagger, Daniel Jackson, but averaging 24 disposals and four clearances a game. I reckon he's been in great form. So Stengline takes the mark. Marston, a little disorientated here. Needs some help. Nikoski better watch out. Or oh, could have been holding the ball. Probably the right decision because there wasn't the prior opportunity. Now there might be trouble, though. I reckon he was, he, it's a good call that Tamling just accepted the tackle, made no attempt to get it out. It's Marston getting the ball moving for the Eagles. Rosa with the hesitation and then the long bomb and Lacroix looping early in the debris. Let's see who's left. It's McNamara and Natanui. Foley got the knees dirty and the Tigers got down as they have been. Lacroix is a hard man to keep out of it. And the ball wanted to come back for a goal. Hit the base of the post. They hit the base of the post. No, it did it. Yes, straight up, straight out. Uh, I thought it hit the side of the post. The field umpire the said it hit the base of the, of the post. The boundary umpire said it didn't. Don't argue with him, son. If you're a smart boundary yeah. umpire, you say, yeah, I think it did. So you're saying it didn't hit the post? No, it didn't the post at all. No. Definitely, definitely did hit the post. All right, I'm going to ball it up. Well, that's no. that's poor field umpiring. Yeah, that is very poor that's field umpiring. Let's see if it hit the base. Hard to tell well, from that. The goal umpire was there as well. He would have, if it had have hit the base, right. surely he would have put so the Richmond hand up. had possession in their back pocket. Now it's a ball up. Isn't that the? Didn't they change that rule? Uh, no, that's what they, the Richmond players were arguing right. there. Gee, great leap, Check Nat that. Anui, but he's hit it to the opposition. That's twice he's done that. They hit out the disadvantage. But at least he's getting up there, I suppose. Graham, the Tigers, intent on handballing their way out of defence here, me. and that spells uh, quite a bit of trouble on this occasion. Selwood, but still they persist the Tigers. Daniel Jackson with a bit of a U-turn and oh dangerously but effectively swings it back to some safety and uh, Moore's got Tambling running. Well they got out of a sticky situation there the Tigers. Ball goes to the wing. No mark to Patterson. Revolt ducks the head and broke the glass tackle way too easily and revolts away. Puts it inside 50 with a beautiful kick to Morton again who's Getting it delivered lace out in this first term, Rob. He can play this young fella. Mitch. He can play, knows how to kick a goal, knows how to time his lead. That's what I like about him. Doing well too, Walls. He was throwing up on the bench about 45 seconds ago. Well, they've got to, in a way, with Richo seconds, being Mitch. injured, it means they've got to persevere with Morton and Revolt, and uh, I think that's a good thing. Well, he's kicked two. And that's the way it'll stay as it sneaks home, sneaked home for one point. So it is Richmond at the 20 minute mark of the first quarter, leading by 16 points. Morton's got a couple. Graham's got one for the Tigers. No, the only goal scorer for out. West Coast is Kennedy. Oh, oh. that's a shocking kick in. The man was Nikoski. And he's put it straight down the throat of Brett yep. Delidio. You're on it there, yep. This is an amazingly bad kick, isn't <laughs> it? Lazy off one step. Yeah, I oh know, yep. One metre. Brett Delidio. Oh, he might have missed that too. He's let him off the hook. He has. 3 5 to the Tigers. Well, Richmond's missed three very gettable goals in this uh, first quarter. They could have just about buried the Eagles. The Koski's been sacked, Rob. Yeah, and David Wurrapunda gets it. If in doubt, go long to your Ruckman. you got Big Cox. Well, go for a torp, as he sometimes does. Drop punt this time. Tuck was always in the best position to mark that. What a season he's having for the Tigers, Shane Tuck. Over 30 possessions on average per game through the last month. And this is a well-placed ball as well for mighty Mitch Morton. He was on him. He was just by himself in the pocket. The West Coast defence is uh, leaking like the proverbial, yep, Rob. Daniel Kerr's just had one disposal in this first quarter, and we are 21 and a half minutes yep, in. Here. Daniel Jackson, well done. 
inside 50 is 11 to 7 so far. It's a full forward marking uncontested. I think where Apunda is his opponent. He was his I opponent when he took that mark two oh. minutes ago out on the flank, and he's too small for him. Oh. Oh, my goodness me. They might live to regret this, the Tigers. 3 6 24. Hate to say it, but. No, oh, you're spot on. Jade, Jade Rawlings hasn't been taking the goal kicking down there during the week, has he? That a bit harsh early in the first quarter? We'll find out. Well, I'll tell you what, the Eagles aren't kicking much better at the moment. We'll have a throw in 50 metres out from the Tigers' goal. Morton's got two goals, too. Graham got in front of Cox and got the tap. Nicely done to Cousins. To Morton again. Kicks to the tip of the goal square. And that's a good, strong mark taken by Eric McKenzie. This is off to Weir Punda. And... Mark taken by Lynch, who haven't called yet. In fact, this is his first touch. He started on the bench. No, he didn't start on the bench, but it is his first touch. So he's had a quiet start to the match. Oh, oh another skill error. Cousins pounces. He'll want it back here. Knife disposal coming up for Ben Cousins. Yeah, and everything he does is clean. He finds his captain in Newman. And he goes to Nahas at half forward. Nahas wheels around, gets past Lynch, gets past Kerr. And now kicks in the direction of Vickery, sets himself. Good spoil at the death by Selwood. All, all the Eagles want to do is handball backwards. Glass. Oh, his kick's mate. taken by Marston, who finds Lynch. He's going around in circles at the moment. Yeah. Up to the wing to Rosa. Oh, unfortunately, man coming back with a flight of the ball, Young Swift. Didn't make it easy for his team, but they've got away with it. Brown to Nikoski. It okay. does kick. Cox really wasn't ready for it, but he made him be ready for it. He can link up with Prittis by hand if he wants. He doesn't want. Play on! He wants a left foot kick into the pocket for Natanui, who's almost got it. You can hear the crowd get up in excitement. And here's Foley stretching the handball to no one in particular. Rance is able to gather. And they're going to come out with Edwards. Bit of a standoff with Rosa. Back to Rance and Moore. They're going around in circles now. The Tigers, as Tambling sends it wide, back to the city side. This is Polo, who spots Vickery. He's going to take this mark on the wing. I'm watching Nick Natanui. Uh, he's exhausted already. He's had to chase a few of those Tigers out of the defensive 50, and he is really oh. struggling for breath. Tambling to Collins, inside 50. And Delinio again. Uh, Takes the mark. That's it. That's it. Mark's here. So Delidio getting away from Eric McKenzie. We saw him miss the relatively elementary shot earlier. Let's see how Brett Delidio goes here. Eight goals, six for the season coming in tonight. Normally a highly skilled player, and that's more reflective. Have a look at that. You've got uh, Cox with two touches in this first quarter. We've gone 26 minutes. Daniel Kerr with one touch. They're disgraceful figures. And to me, the work rate of those two is nowhere near hard enough. Cox the tap to Prittis. Kicks a floater to half forward. Jackson gets there first. Over the top to Foley and the Tigers build again. They should be much further in front. He kicks to Collins who takes the mark. 55 out. Tamley's on short. He ignores him and goes the longer version with a beautiful kick to Morton, who is having an absolute field day, but he is starting to develop the yips. He's got 2-2. Two -two. This is a very important kick for him. And for Richmond. I mean, if they finish this quarter with a, a goal here, then they've got some reward for their effort, Rob, and their domination. Yeah, well, he's had uh, about three different opponents already. He's had Glass. He's had Spanger. He's had six marks inside 50. And now he's got Eric McKenzie. That's outrageous. Six marks inside 50. In the first quarter, isn't it? He's directly in front. He's 25 metres out. He must kick this goal. Three to Morton.
All good news for the Tigers on the scoreboard. Not so good news off the ground, though. You can see Trent Cochin. He's been on and off the ground a couple of times. Looks like he's tweaked his top of his thigh there on his right leg, really trying to get a bit of warmth into it to get back out there. The effort of these Eagles players in the first quarter is a disgrace. Absolute disgrace. Into him. Their efforts when they play away from Next home second. are not worth talking about. It's as if they don't want to play. I saw a game here last night between uh, Carlton and St Kilda. Every player spent every bit of energy and courage that he had. And I'm looking at a team here who is just not fair dinkum at the moment. McNamara gets them moving here. Ebert had the right idea. Had the man in Mitch Brown running for him. Made it tough, but at least he's got it back. Natanui from behind. Plays his own footy now. Oh, and shows a bit of the freaky skills we've heard so much about. It was a moment of hesitation, but it's going to end in a Prentice goal. And a glimpse into the future, perhaps. Nick Natanui, his first disposal in AFL footy, creates a goal. And they've got to get the ball to him as quickly as they can, because you can see there, he's an athlete. He can get it at ground level. He's got a fantastic leap. And a couple of times when they've gone forward, they've gone sideways slowly, and you've got this prospect up there, for goodness sake, use him. Goal to West Coast against the Tide, and there's Mum, Tether. Very happy lady. Why wouldn't you be? What a proud moment for the Nat Nui family. She said earlier, though, she wasn't a big fan of his hairstyle. It's out there, isn't it? In fact, it's probably the most outrageous hairstyle I've ever seen in football history, apart yeah. from... Brucey Dool. It's outstanding though, isn't it? <laughs> Makes a great statement. 24 points is the difference between Richmond and West Coast and a bit of a, yep. an odd feeling first quarter. These two players, Lacroix and Natanui, Lacroix's a very good player. Get it to him often enough. One out with his opponent, he'll win more times than he loses. Natanui can get it at ground level and in the air. They've just got to get it there quickly to them and not go sideways and backwards as they have been. Tambling again, some good forward pressure applied by the Tigers. To the Eagles are on the back foot again there too. Amazing opening quarter. Richmond, 11 scoring shots to two. Lead by 24. Jade Rawlings would be pleased with the effort. Not so John Warsfold. It's Richmond by four goals. They've dominated over recent times. What about this for a weird game, Robert Walls? 5-6-36 to the West Coast, two straight 12. Tigers could be much further ahead. Certainly could be, Hutto. And, uh, gee, I hope we get a better effort out of the West Coast Eagles because uh, if we have a look at the first quarter stats, the marks inside 50, have a look at that. 13 to Richmond in the first quarter. Six of those to Mitch Morton. Richmond average 15 inside 50 marks a game. They've already taken 13. Eagles, as usual, are low. They have been for the last five or six years. Even that one mark they took, that was by Kennedy, and that was a scrambled kick that uh, hit him accidentally on the chest. Now, this bloke here, he's just got to work. He's got to work. Of course, he's been a star player. He'll get tagged. But it's uh, unacceptable that he has one touch of the football in the first quarter. And uh, they need more from, uh, obviously, Kerr. They need more from the Ruckman Cox. He's only had a couple of touches, not working anywhere near hard enough for them. They're the senior players in a pretty young team. And this fella here, David Wirraponda, he's been a very good player, but he's got to make his mind up whether he wants to continue to play AFL football and go hard when it's his turn to go hard. Because sometimes I just think he, uh, he decides, he chooses not to go at times. And that's a bit disappointing. He's uh, obviously a veteran now, but if he's going to play, he's got to take his turn to win the hard ball when it's on. And here's an example of it in the first quarter. He's running back, and he decides not to get in there and help out. It's going to be a Richmond mark, and he just becomes a spectator. So I reckon it's a really disappointing start. Hopefully John Warsfold can rev them up. John Warsfold, has he been given an extra three-year contract? He's just about to be. OK. Uh, Mitch Morton on world record pace. I know, 65 Dream Team points in the first quarter. It's extraordinary. I mean, Richmond had so much of the ball. And uh, they had a lot of it in their forward 50, didn't they? As you said, Mitch Morton taking all those marks. Inside 50, Dean Cox. Can he get in there and uh, give the normal armchair ride he does to the midfielders? Yeah, Ebert going in to lend a hand to Daniel Kerr as we get ready to start the second quarter. And it is Richmond leading by 24. 
Crane went up and down. Holding on before he's got it. And it's a free kick going to Holding Ben on Cousins. He's got it. Let him go, Matty. Who's playing a very good right. game. That's his 11th disposal off to the run of Foley. He's also doing well to half forward. Delidio marks and quickly plays on into attack. Cox gets back, can't take the mark. Front and centre is Marston. He's wrapped up by Edwards. No prime line. Thanks, Chris. Have a me. Thanks, Tyson. Play on. Big pack can test that bounce. Kerr's in there. Selwood. Handball, play on. Goes towards the boundary, Stenglein. Not quite. Now Prittis, oh that's a shank. Terrible kick. Here's another crack at it. Foley tries to rip it out of his arms. Vickery the quick handball. And the umpire will have no choice but to bounce. Well let's hope West Coast can get a clearance quarters. At this stage it's 13-2 in favour of the Tigers, the clearances. Look at all those players around, every ball up. We're just seeing that each and every time and they're starting to break now Prittis getting it away to Spanger under pressure Rosa back to Hearn and then we're Punda nice vision Eva takes it and moves he's got Scotty Selwood on who's bolted from the wing Cousins in hot pursuit can he mow him down no he can't and unfortunately Selwood maybe a little far ahead of himself there the adrenaline pumping misses the lot it's a nice move forward though and I guess uh, Ben Cousins has to be a little bit careful about what his opponent does the other way, but Ben Cousins has had 11 disposals so far tonight. The incredible Been Hulk. Good. Scott Selwood, 19 years of age, the fourth of the famous Selwood brothers. Throw in. Up in the West Coast attacking territory. Collins with his head over the footy. Rance, Tuck. Jackson. We punted underneath it. Good mark. And he's off. So it looks like they have been given a bit of a rev. A quarter time and rightly so. Kerr fires out the handball to Rosa. Back to Weir Punder who kept on running. Kicks to Big Lynch. And he's about 60 out from goal. Within distance quarters, oh, the big Q stick. No, not quite. Even for the big Q stick. Too far out. Kicks to the tip of the goal square. He's, oh, marked it. Mark. he's marked it. To Kennedy. No, he's marked it, umpire. Oh, that was a ripping mark. You know, I reckon the umpire called play on before he got the second grab. Let's have a look at Kennedy at the back. Oh, a lot of hands up there. That has got to be paid a mark. That has to be a mark. I don't know. There are a few hands on <laughs> it early. Yeah, but you've got to pay those. In the, I mean, that's they're, they're paid. You normally stick to your guns, Wellesley, but you're backing off there. Contested mark situation. It always comes off a group of players' hands. That's a mark. He was uh, very much at the back of the pack, though, quarters, and there's a lot of hands in front. Thanks, Dane. What's behind me here, boys? No sense of theatre, you blokes. Well, let's see. Uh, Cox should get his hand up here against the young Ruckman. Big opportunity here for West Coast. Collins grabs it. Fritis tries to prise it out of the hands. Another bounce. Thanks, mate. Fritis, Marston, Rosa with seven disposals each for the West Coast Eagles. The goal is the prize here. Selwood. And it's Scott Selwood. He can't jolt it clear either. Again, just Fight sheer again. massive. Numbers around the footy each and every time there's a ball up. Good to see some of the uh, Eagles players just get out, take their opponents out. Instead of it being eight against eight, make it four against four. Gives yep. them a bit of space. Yeah, well, they gave a bit of space that time, didn't they? But Cotchum was the man who relished it. His kick out to again Selwood and Cousins. Desperation of Tuck on display again. Just that edge that Richmond have had in desperation was there for all to see with Tuck. It's going to be a ball up. Cousins, 11 disposals so far in 24 minutes out there. Looks like he's going to spend a bit more time out in the ground than he has so far. Rance with the clean-up job to Cousins again, still busting a gap. McGuan cornered for a moment. Not a great handball for Tambling as it turned out. Kennedy working hard, Tambling over the footy. This will be an interesting call here from the umpire. Oh, right, ball up. And that's interesting. Mitch Morton, the full forward. His opponent is Stenglein, the tagger. That's his fourth opponent, and we're only early in this second quarter. Cox. And will miss the target. Now Prittis 
mops up and finds Weir Punda. He's going to pump it long from 70 metres out. Good kick. That's a mark. No question you have that one to Josh Kennedy. And that's all a forward wants, one out against his opponent. And the Wirrapunda kick, which was a beauty, gave the forward that chance. Good 55, 60 metre drop punt. Makes it hard for a defender when he's running back. Bit of heat here at Etihad Stadium. Down in the goal square after the Kennedy mark and goal. Big Quentin Lynch coming in to flex his considerable muscle in the middle of the, of the uh, ground, though. Graham and Cox. Gee, I tell you what, I'd love to see Cox jump into the young Graham. That's what the big fella should be doing, intimidating. He's the All-Australian. He's the experienced bloke. There is no need for that at all. Your free kick, Dan. Your free kick. Ben, Ben, Ben. Straight back. Kerr inserts them deep. Lynch now has some holding there, and the umpire's seen it against Acoustic. <laughs> and it goes to Rance. He goes as short as he possibly can to find Tuck. Spreads it oh, right out to McGon. <laughs> Takes the mark on the last line, or the second last line anyway. So Tigers under a little bit of stress here for the first real time in the match. The turnover. Prittis takes it, delivers, was hoping to get oh. Lecrae on the end. That'll be 50. Jeez, Jeez that was a bad no. kick by Prittis. He's running into the contest. He hasn't even given 50 oh. for that. Oh, boy. Oh, who is, who is that umpire? It's the top cop, oh. isn't it? <laughs> well, is he? Simon Overland. <laughs> Matthew Nichols. <laughs> there he is. This is turning into a very strange night. <laughs> it is. Moore kicks up to the wing and finds Newman, who takes the mark, the Richmond captain. Play on. Tigers haven't had it in their forward half for quite a while, but it's going to head that way now. Nice delivery by hand to Patterson, kicking them out wide and getting Edwards inside. And Edwards delivers a telling blow for the Tigers. Let's have a look at a replay of that hit. Now, that's not 50 metres. I'm the Chief Commissioner. It was... Uh, yeah, well, there's the uh, Police Commissioner. It was a 50 metre penalty up to round nine, I reckon. And the umpires, on. under instructions, have dropped right off. In the back. Make it pretty simple. So Thank you find it now, the Play Eagles. On. Out to Swift. Play who needed to be a bit more like his name than he was. Good work though by Lynch, just tossing Rance out of the action. Minimum fuss from Shane Tuck. Battled on though, well done by well, both parties there. It's just cranked up a notch or two. It needed to. Selwood, not a great kick, but it turns out okay. As Rosa takes the mark, Collins didn't want to overcommit, so in the end he allowed his opponent to take the mark. There's Lecrae. Pushing wide, he had Ebert wide. He's got Cox longer. Goes for Kennedy. Pretty good option, I reckon. Kennedy's been a good target for them. Buffered it away. McLaughlin kept his footing at all costs. Edwards kicked the last goal. Now he's doing some hard work across half back. Delivers onto the wing. Trent Cotton with those silky smooth skills. Up towards half forward. Foley having a rest at half forward. Staying out on the ground, which is interesting. Hearn escapes. Goes to Cox at centre half forward. No one going past. Not an early long, but he decides to go short. The hard working Kennedy takes the mark. And Hearn was magnificent in the back line. He got a fist on the footy. It didn't get past him. And then he butted up to receive a handball and then hit Cox on the chest with the pass. Hey, what I like about this bloke, he got poleaxed only about a minute ago and immediately got up to get back into the contest. So Josh Kennedy, seven goals, six coming in tonight. And uh, already he's kicked two goals straight. And now he's got three. Or has he? Just. And Josh Kennedy gets absolutely crunched there. Hits his head on the turf. He's really shaken up, but he immediately gets himself up and presents. And the next time it comes into the forward 50, takes the mark, goes back and kicks the goal. He's third for the game. Well done. Oh. 
David Wurrupunda, two Everybody touches in the first quarter, up. five in the first eight minutes of the second. So he's lifted. Here he is again. Read it beautifully off halfback. Drills the pass. But it's not a good one. It's chopped off by Tansley. Richmond by three goals. They led by four goals at the first break. Should have really been five or six up. Some poor conversion. Cost them dearly on the scoreboard. Foley. They had a tuck. Not much on offer. Just chips. Finds Polo. Now victory kept on running. And that's well done. Courageous stuff from the first gamer. Oh, you'd like that, Rob Walls? Yes, that was terrific. He gives it off to Revolt. Got the best of kicks to the tip of the goal square. Cox with the fist. And it's a rush behind. Vickery going back with the flight. And that's always good to see. Now, where Punda is breaking at half back. Not much ahead for him. Long range, there's Natanui, who's ranging across half forward. And it's surprising that no Tiger went to it because he was the only option. Kennedy is longer, and Lacrasse here with Paolo. Natanui goes for a second time. And it did pretty well. Kept it bubbling. Lacrasse. Geez, exciting, Natanui. He is exciting. Took the mark, played it on, almost got that ground ball. There's never any question about his ability. It was just in terms of whether he would go number one as to whether he would get enough footy over the years because he's uh, you know, been a, a late developer in terms of getting used to playing the game. Here's the Tigers on the break. Foley again to a one-on-one -on -one inside 50 and Morton. Another strong mark, this time just outside the 50-metre arc. Kicks towards Revolt. That is a strong grab. Two young forwards, Rob, combining. Yeah, they're positive signs for the Tigers. He's, he's got uh, something special about him, Mitch Morton, and a nice pass to uh, Revolt. Well, they're both, well, they're both young, but they've both got plenty of confidence, haven't they? Self-confidence, which is, in this game, a good thing. They're not huge men at all. They're not going to be really big forwards. Like, Jack's not going to be as big as his cousin Nick, but uh, they're pretty agile. Here's the inside 50 targets for the Tigers tonight. Vickery's been a target three times, but Morton, five times he's been the target. And he's also had some marks from where the kicks have come from within the 50. He's taken six marks inside 50. Yeah, and you can see by that shot there with Glass, he's not uh, not a tall lad. Gee, this is impressive. Oh, isn't it? From Natanui, the takeaway. Maybe sell Rosa a little bit of a duck. It's just the way he moves. Got the footy and the way he did it. As we said, a taste of what's to come watching him over the years. Patterson is his opponent here. Help from Lynch with the fist. Tambly. And boy, Foley's getting plenty of the footy without getting too much close attention. Patterson's been able to get away from Natanui. But Hearn was onto it. He takes the mark and he'll try and switch it with that powerful boot of his. Gets it across in the Swift and Selwood direction. Swift takes it away, and his kick was measured and effective to Ebert. Ebert wobbles one with a bit of luck to half forward. And the mark is taken by Brown. Handballs over to Ebert. Who from right on 50 kicks into the goal square. And the rush behind is conceded by the Tigers. Daniel Kerr, just the three disposals. That's it, Mark, that's it! Play on. What's your feeling, Rob, on how this game's going to pan out from here on oh, in? I think, I think the Eagles have lifted. They, they are playing a bit harder, which uh, wouldn't be hard, but they are playing harder. Wirrapunda's lifted for them. And oh, uh, their forward line with Kennedy as a target and Natanui just starting to settle a little bit. So. I do think that the West Coast, uh, they're playing as well as Richmond at the moment, but uh, what they've done is given Richmond a handy lead. And don't forget, it could have been more if the Tigers had a kick straighter. 7-7 to 4-1. 
And this man is everywhere at the moment, Nathan Foley, coming up for disposal number 16. Tambling's had 19. The bulk of those were in the first quarter. This is Newman, this Richmond skipper. And his teammates get a bit more of a feel for the footy. Could pop it over the top here, Polo, to Hislop if he wants to. Jackson kept on coming at him, but now he's yeah. taking a bounce. <laughs> it's a good duck just to get out of trouble. Jackson back to Foley. And he's had enough. Wants to run. She did a oh. tackle was woeful. Sal were doing a bit of damage here. With the smother initially. And McNamara, let's hope he kicks it the right way. Well, slightly. It's gone forward anyway. Go Big on. opportunity. We'll ponder. We know he can kick it long. And McGuan saves the day. Let's have a look at the Lacroix tackle. And that is a disappointing effort. Wraps him up. It's a definite free because Polo had uh, certainly had prior opportunity. We're under eight disposals this oh. quarter. He's really lifted. Ambitious handball. Let's have a look at Natanui at the last centre bounce. Up, look at that for a leap. Gets the knee into the rib cage of his opponent, and the reach is so much further than his opponent. Great to see a Ruckman just actually jumping straight up for the ball too, Rob. Well, they all, all, all the uh, recruiting scouts said he was just exceptional as an athlete. Looks like he knows how to play too. It's a good handball there, which ends up in the arms of Weir Punder again. He is doing some damage across half-back. Marston, quick hands. Now Brown, sidestep, kicks to a contest. Oh, good stuff, McGuan. Just out-muscled Kennedy on that occasion and took the mark to Cousins. Have you seen Cousins so far, Mr. Walls? Well, that was a nice mess of it, wasn't it? Uh, I think Ben Cousins has had 14 disposals. I think he's playing pretty well. And the boundary umpire will have to wait for him to get down there. The Eagles fans calling for deliberate there, but I guess he fumbled it enough. In the end, he just let it go and let it do its own thing, knowing it was going to go out. Disappointing, though, for Richmond. They were looking to move it out of defence. So a chance for the Eagles to press here and try and lock it in the forward 50. They can't do that, at least not for the moment. Cotchin the clearance, but for how long? Numbers with West Coast. Rosa rides it out. Handball to Lynch. He's their number one man for getting it inside 50 for the year. Continues the trend with a big bomb to full forward. Who's left standing? It's Kennedy. He's a smart player. He's kicked four. And Quinton Lynch, 60 metre drop punt, top of the goal square. Richmond defenders can't get a clean fist on it, and Kennedy takes advantage of the spill to put his fourth Contest through. Nat Nui up top again, well done. That is his personal best, four goals for Kennedy. Collins for Richmond. Back inside 50 go the Tigers. Stengline does the fisting away. The punters had great quarter. Well, we saw the strong fist there by the Eagle defence. In the first quarter, Richmond took 13 marks. There's a little bit of uh, little bit of uh, love between the Premiership teammates. They took 13 marks in their forward 50, Richmond, in the first quarter. This oh. quarter won. Hearn, that was only ever heading one way for McKenzie, and that was trouble. There was nowhere to move. Richmond fans, a little impatient, worried about those misses in the first quarter, no doubt. Lead by 17 now, but the Eagles have lifted dramatically. Morton with the volley back inside the 50. McNamara is more worried about Cousins, and that allowed little Nahas in. Uh, unfortunately, his kick for goal has missed everything. And, and Hutto, what the Eagles are doing, they're also using Lynch as a ruckman. Cox is rucking at the moment. Natanui playing in the forward line, and Quinton Lynch is playing pretty much as a ruck rover, but prepared to do a few hit-outs when it's required. Well, Cox is on on the outer side here for McNamara if he wants him. He waited and instead went for Brown, which was fairly ambitious. Going to get there as it turns out, but you can see he's got plenty of company. Could have been too high, Edwards. Half over the shoulder. But uh, the umpire goes for the bounce. And there's the inside 50s and a big turnaround in this quarter. Well, David Wirrapunda, well done. Something had to happen. Someone had to make a statement in that Eagles team. And uh, it wasn't going to be Kerr, but it, Wirrapunda's done it. 
and Natanui's given excitement as well. Cox puts the Eagles inside 50, but McGuan's there. Off to Moore. And he kicks with precision to Polo. He goes back into the corridor. To Jackson, who drills a long ball. Looking for Revolt. No mark. Still up in the contest. Some pilot that go. Attacking it was Cochin, who just looks like he's looked on all cylinders tonight. It does look a bit hampered with that leg injury. But he's still class personified. And beautiful kick to Delidio, who just stood and waited, but he won it in the end. Handball to Vickery was off target. Marston. Glass. Now Cox. And the Eagles reload again from half back. There's Selwood. Is it over to McNamara? Two mines. And then goes short. Put it on that new his head. He's one out. Pritis has snuck inside 50 here. Yeah. Can he kick it though? Oh, that's a good question. Can he get the distance? Well, you are there, James. Get your run now. I've learned You're something now, about Nat Nui. He can jump. I'm not so sure he can chase. Well, we know Hearn can kick, but it was off balance. Kennedy is a man again. McGuan wins the chockies this time. Oh. And well done. Leaking up with Tuck. Where were the crummers? Mm. But Kennedy had to have three contests and no one supported him. Boy, ambitious kick again from Newman. Made the job awfully difficult for Vickery. And Glass initially and then Ebert. And they handball it around. This is Spanger after getting it from Lynch and Marston inside the 50. Again, Kennedy's tireless worker. He's just got the hands in the back there that time. He must be absolutely exhausted, Rob. Well, the last time it came in, he contested the mark and hit the deck. He had two attempts at ground level, still no support. This is, have a look at this. Here he is there. Where are, they, where are the crummers? They're still not there. Still, mate. Tigers work it out of defence. Cousins to Tuck. That's a nice spot up to half forward. Nahas. Runs to 50. Nahas. No hope. I think he likes the goal quarters. He loves the goal. Well, Tyrone Vickery was screaming for the ball then at the top of the goal square. Not afraid to let him know about it either in his first game. Yeah. Well. And Nick Natanui having a spell. McKenzie for West Coast. Got Mitch Brown away on the wing. Takes the mark and decides to press on. Good quick movement of the footy. Gives your forwards a chance. McNamara. Boundary umpire nowhere to be seen. Right in. Thank you. There he comes. Hope he's got enough energy to give it a good heave. You know, very nasty when it comes to boundary umpires, Wolsey. I hope for his sake that this is a beautiful boundary throw-in. As you'll know that, just jump all over him if it's not. <laughs> it's not the greatest. Comes to Polo. Shane Edwards, who started the year, and they hoped that he could be a halfback flanker. Has only played the first three games and then abandoned that little idea. Here's the Eagles with Selwood. Goes and has another crack. Not much better result. Stendline worried out of it. Morton, good delivery, good pace from Collins through the pack. The idea was right, but Naha surrounded by bigger bodies and bigger numbers. But Spanger came down. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. And Hislop dragged him down the ground. Well done. Oh, gee, there was some hot contact initially as the replay showed. Or was he ducking his head? No, he wasn't ducking his head. He's a tough little nut. He's uh, Tommy Hislop, recruited from Essendon, of course, and has played just three games for the Tigers. This is fourth. And that's steered through for a much-needed goal, a setting influence for the Tigers. Well, it's an interesting quarter. They've certainly played better football, the West Coast Eagles. But it's three goals, two apiece in this second quarter. So scores are level as far as the quarter Great goes. Goal. Fifteen disposals, Ben Cousins. Five kicks and ten handballs. Okay. And Scott Selwood has had seven disposals. Cox nicely to Prittis. Inside 50 go the Eagles. Brown's handball is a little bit too slick. Koski 
Toss it up to Tamley to Foley. Out wide. Shana handballs. Still with the Tigers. Rance. Backwards to Patterson. Polo. Tackled by Lacra. Oh, muck things up here, the Tigers. Browns away for West Coast and he rolls it and wobbles it and sneaked it through for a goal. Interesting finish. It but was. Uh, nevertheless, it was six points. And some good pressure there with the tackle and the chase. Lacra, that's a better tackle. And well done by Brown to back himself with a bounce because he knew he was about 60 metres out. Had to get inside the 50. He knew they were in hot pursuit. It's an interesting kick, isn't it? He, yeah. he deliberately did what he did, which was kick the ball end over end. That certainly keeps them within reach as we head into the halftime break. So plenty of work to do for Jade Rawlings and his team. But they lead. Cox. The wrestle with Patterson, down to Tuck, Delidio. Play on! Close quarters all night, Selwood. Delidio's had not a lot of freedom. Tambling gets the handball away. Bit of a run up for Newman, but he decides he's going to go backwards first. Patterson was going to give it back to him instead. Yeah, I reckon the instructions are oh. bring it in the corridor. Yep. I fell, no. And now he goes out. Straight out. Back out to Newman. But they have been trying to bring it into the corridor. And uh, I would think Jade Rawlings' instructions are, this is interesting, revolt has been sent into the back line the last couple of minutes. Just the last few seconds. And they see it out. Half time, Rob. And quarters. Well, it was a better effort by the West Coast Eagles. At least they uh, contested strongly. Their forward line started to function a bit better, mainly due to Josh Kennedy. Pritta started to get a bit. And quarters, we're very impressed yes. with that man there, Nick Natanui. He is an excitement machine, this young man. He was taken pick two in last year's national draft, 19 years of age from Swan Districts. And he is going to have a lot to offer this game over the next decade. Ziva's in love. In love with a killer.